the NCAA. In like, general. Who do you, who's your top four teams? I guess who do you think is going to win? Assuming oh. Syracuse <laughs> wasn't running in the race, and you can't okay, put Sean so Kemp not, at the bottom. We're not going to talk about Syracuse at all, because okay. you know I'm always saying Syracuse is going to win, so we're <laughs> just going to. Not a discussion. Assuming Syracuse me. won, who gets second? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Um, you know, a lot of guys are going to be mad at me because I have a lot of friends on different teams. Um, I do think NAU um, is going to come back really strong. I think their program, it, it kind of reminds me the way we were back in 2015, where it's like they have a lot of guys there and everybody's so hungry to just be on that top seven, top five squad. And... You know, when you have guys competing against each other like that every day, you know, you only get great results. Like my boy, uh, Peter Lamont, just look at his result last year. Um, I remember he messaged me earlier on in the season or before the season started, actually, in, in August. And he was like, how do I be better? And he was asking me for advice, like, you know, what to eat, how do I recover, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, I, I gave him a good spiel, like we're good friends. And I was just real with him and you know, told him some of the sacrifices you have to make and everything. And um, he really followed through with it. And then, you know, you saw his amazing performance at cross country. And I think um, their team really gets that. Like, mentally, they're all there. So I'll, I'll have them as number one. And uh, plus, they have, like, a lot of key returners coming back. And they um, got Brody Hasty now. A big and you got Brody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a surprise. <laughs> um, that was crazy. Um, I think they're going to be great. Uh, second, man, I don't even... I'm trying to remember who is even like who's on which team. <laughs> uh, well, you got I'll, you have like you have BYU, you have Portland, Stanford, Iowa State's yeah. pretty good. Now Those Portland, are, do they have a lot of guys graduating? No, they return a bunch. They lose two, but they have some younger another, guys who are good. They're another program I really respect because, as I said, like it reminds me of you and you know. Um, back in 2015 like we didn't have all the star recruits and stuff but they we had a lot of workers and i feel like portland has a lot of workers that are like they understand what their role is and they know that they have to get it done um i think byu i can't give you an order but i think it's gonna be byu uh stanford you know they have a great group of guys hopefully all of them are healthy and everything led by grant fisher um and you know i'll say portland's up there i think my dark horse maybe I'll say Dark Horse Portland, there you BYU. Go. There I know Rory, Rory's going to be so mad at me because <laughs> you're for BYU, but I don't know. It's just, it can go, that's the beauty of cross country. It can go either way. You already know that. So that's a hard question, guys. Are you